Hello everybody and welcome back to some modded into the gungeon. You may be wondering why am I in a run with a rainbow chest? It's because I forgot to start recording for a second, but I've already started it now, so why not carry on? At the minute, I'm doing a rainbow run, and I'm going to take whatever this is, um, and I've also got on the theatre mode, which is um, interesting, because it means that we can die in one hit, which is going to be um, kind of crazy. Enemies die in one hit, but so do you, so we're going to try this out. Uh, steal the strength of all the foes in the room, a simple battle helmet worn by an old king. Um, okay, not quite sure what that is, but yeah. I thought, why not do something wacky like this? Enemies die in one hit, but so do we. It kind of, it, it's a weird challenge, and rainbow murder is especially a weird thing to do for it. Just because, like, <laughs> things are going to die in one hit, so why, but... I don't know what the steal the strength thing does, but... Oh god, glitchy hand, glitchy hand. Ah, you bastard, it got me. I don't think it does damage though, right? It does not do damage, good. I also, I have no idea whatsoever what the, um, oh, I'm already dead. Um, no idea whatsoever what that active did. It, it seemed to do something once I killed the enemies, but otherwise I don't know. But yeah, we're going to keep it in rainbow mode anyways. We want high pellet count weaponry here. Because I did try this theater mode thing before and I got reasonably far with it, but... Didn't quite get a victory. I don't know if there's any unlocks tied to it, but it's one of the things that I kind of find like an interesting challenge nonetheless. So, uh, is that Sanic? That's Sanic. I'm fairly sure, by the way, Sanic is a little broken um, because I haven't updated Gungeon Gobur because I'm an idiot and everyone keeps telling me I'm an idiot. But, you're just going to have to deal with it. Right. Um... I guess this, because I don't know what it is. These shells are loaded with a potent viral sludge, quickly spreading throughout enemy legions. Okay, so this is going to be useless, sadly. Um, but anyways, we got the honk. Honk, honk. Okay. Um, <laughs> we got the honk. Yeah, apparently there's some slightly broken effect with, um, with Sanic's dash. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Uh, he seems infatuated with this boy. You you go, Sanic. You do your thing. He's he's just gonna he's just gonna chill. He's just gonna follow us around. He's not he's not part of anything. Oh fuck. Hello you. What's left? Is this the room that just says Apache? It is. Oh hello there. <laughs> Sonic's a little goober. I love him. He's the best little boy you've ever seen. The bestest of boys. But yeah, this is going to be kind of an interesting little challenge here. I'm sure the first few floors should go reasonably well. But after that, it gets a little more spicy. Um, having armor probably won't do much for us, I wouldn't think. But yeah, we need something that's fast firing. We need like a club or something. That would really hit the spot. Or we could get nothing. It is a rainbow run, remember this. So we're not going to be finding much in the grads of clubs and stuff. Really shouldn't have taken the blight rounds because they don't actually do anything. I was just hoping it would be some sort of bouncy bullet malarkey or something. I don't know. Now, I don't exactly know how bosses work, I'll, I'll admit. Okay, that, that went well. Okay, I think we just do a lot more damage to bosses. Because that went well. That went well. Right, we'll grab that. And at the minute, we just kind of want to be going to uh, as many floors as possible, so... I guess I should go to this floor. I kind of don't want to, because this floor's pretty pertinent. But at the same time, extra rainbow chest seems pretty good to me. We could actually get a weapon that might be a little more useful. I'm recording this, uh, this episode a little later than usual, I have to admit. Um, where the hell's our room? Okay. A little later than I normally would, I have to admit. I don't, I, I, basically, I just kind of forgot. I, uh, I realized that last episode didn't come out because, um, I hadn't recalled them. Uh, so I was like, I can't really do that again because I, there should be one. But I'd also forgotten to make it. So I was like, you know what? It's late, but let's just do one anyways. Who's it gonna hurt? So, and I thought, why not do a bit of a jerky episode? A jerky jerk one? Because we haven't done one in a little while and it kind of fits. So we're doing, we're doing theater mode and trying um, not to die instantly. 
But I think Rainbow Mode is going to make this easier. I'm not actually sure about that, I'll be honest. Just because, like, it depends on the weaponry we get, right? Um, so, unfortunately, we've also got some kind of trash stuff here. Uh, I guess this. Do you know what? It's, it's what it is. It's at least visually interesting, I'll tell you that for sure. Okay, yeah, I kind of I like this. Okay, so we're going to be kind of quick on this floor because there's certain... Ooh. Oh, because it's an explosion, it stops them enemies from creating shocks, which is kind of intriguing. Did you manage to fire there? Why? Please don't come after me, you balls of... Uh, what the heck? <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. <laughs> That's brilliant. Sonic is a goober. What the hell? Does this thing have, like, ridiculous explosive radius? Why did that guy die? Wait a minute, let's test this out. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. That, that enemy died, and it definitely shouldn't have. Okay. Oh, God, I forgot that sh shot split there. That did scare me. Hello, Bowler. Why you gotta be this way? Why you gotta be this way? Oh, wait. I think it just died from an insta-tick from poison. Because if you die... Wait, doesn't that, doesn't that mean, like, something like the syringe would be, like, busted? I think it does. I think, this, I think something like the syringe would be really good. Anything that can apply a light amount of poison is going to be pretty top tier for us here. Intriguing. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of in love with this run, I've got to admit. Ooh. A boss I... Yep. Yeah. Just about to say, a boss I am really, really ill prepared for because I don't know their attack patterns. And immediately it fires an attack that insta-kills me. Anyways, let's keep this going. I'm having a, I'm having a genuinely good time. And because of this... We might get to see the first floor a little more often than we'd like, but we do get to see a bunch more items and guns that we may not have seen at least much. So I'll try and take ones that I haven't seen before, especially weaponry, because um, every weapon's going to be good <laughs> in this scenario. And I believe that's a dog gun. It is. That's a dog gun. You gotta love it. We've also got the violence. Ooh, isn't the violence, like, real good? Yep. That, that's going to be pretty strong. Just the, the, do the dogs pierce? The dogs pierce. The dog gun. Might be the saviour we've all needed. It might be the hero. That we've all been waiting for. Go, my dogs, go! That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, I love it. I love it. Fire those dogs off. I love the little bark as well. Everything about this is perfect. Okay. Apache. Apache. The fuck, man? <laughs> Why was it able to fire so suddenly upon me entering the room? Give it like a one second grace period or something. Because that was a mighty fine scoop of horse shit. Anyways, goodbye dog gun. Hello, new gun. New gun. There is the cheese gun there, which is something. There's also this. I don't remember what this does. Your bullets have a chance to create an explosion upon intersecting with enemy bullets. Also, we got this, which I don't know how good this is. This is very good. It does electric when it fires past enemies. This is going to be really overpowered. Oh, hell yes. Oh, this is going to be so good. This is going to be... If we can get bouncy bullets on this thing, I'm in. Oh, I'm in love.
Is that not it? Is there another big boy down here somewhere? There he is. There he is. Come on. Oh, there you go. Got him. I got him. I like this gun. <laughs> Either way, when it hits a wall, it also fires an extra one, just to be sure. Oh, God. That was close. Right, shop, I guess we check you out. See what's what. We'll buy a key, at least. Why not? Gets us down to the Ubliet. And we'll see if we survive first, but I will try my best. I think boss GPS cap is just removed on this move, maybe. I'm not quite sure how this works. Might just be that we have a lot more damage. I don't know. I don't know exactly how they do it. Right, we're looking for the Ublia entrance here. Gotta be kind of careful with that, because if it's got enemies in it, we might end up accidentally destroying the barrel. Nice. Sorry, Bowler. I ain't in a trusted. Okay, we shouldn't end up destroying the barrel here. Nice. Okay. We push this further over here. Boom, bow. And enter we go. In we go. Boom, bow. There you go. Okay. This run hopefully is better. Hopefully I don't just die to the boss. Hopefully we get a good thing from our chest. But this is interesting, I don't know. It's just, it's it's something a bit wacky. Something kind of weird, a bit different. There is this. There's also this. I feel like this is a must take. That is not what I meant to grab at all. And you know it, game. I'm disappointed in you, game. That was very clearly not what I meant to grab. I meant to grab a lodestone, if in case you were wondering. That would have been nice to have, you know. A way to defend ourselves against incoming shots. On a character that can't take damage. Well, a, a challenge that you, you can't take damage. That would have been quite nice, you know. Just a bit. The game was like, heh, no, no, no. That would be far too easy. So it's just gonna lead me around to my item room, probably. But this is a bit gross. Don't know why I even bothered doing that, considering I knew it was at the other side, but there you go. I did it, I risked my life. Ooh, one moment, one moment, one moment. Okay. Ooh, these are explosive barrels in the middle there. Didn't notice that for a second there. Okay, there is a spectre somewhere. Okay, he's dead. Doesn't matter. Oh, you see what I mean? What the f Dudes, these need to, like, not fire the moment you enter a door, please. Like, the moment you enter a door, they are all guns blazing, right? Where the hell's our boss fight right now? Good stuff. Gotta be, like, through here, right? Okay. We're doing good, though. This this gun is very nice. It is making me smile. I just love that you can fire, like, one of them. It just takes out a room. Still not the boss. The hell is the boss? Oh, ammo. Thank God. Oh, we got a black hole there. Oh, we have tables like hole. I didn't realize. Okay. <laughs> Yet again, another boss I don't really understand. Whoa. The uh, explosion on the intersecting shots thing seems a bit crazy. <laughs> we also got this. Uh, what the hell? Why is the, what the hell? Why is the exit elevator over here? That's not normal. Is it? Can that normally happen? It's always at the top, isn't it? The hell? That's confused me. That has confused me a lot. It's okay though. We push ever onwards, onto a new floor. Where we have... Hmm. 
That's new. I kind of want to try that. Let's give it a go. It's actually quite low ammo count, so let's not get our hopes up. Crude yet powerful fires a burst of fast bolts. Primitive form of the railgun. Okay, this, this could be good. Okay, it does not need to be charged. We have learned that. Honestly, this could be quite good. It's got pretty low ammo, so it's not going to be the star of the show. But I feel like this could be reasonably good. It's very satisfying, I'll tell you that for nothing. Very satisfying indeed. Oh, and we get ammo for it. If we're getting ammo regularly, I've got to say I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty hypey, yay. Ha ha la la la. I meant to say happy. I said hypey. I'm not quite sure what that is, but apparently I am it. Boom. It's a little inaccurate at range, but I think that's completely fair considering what it is. Oh, look at that baby boy. God damn. They need, the, the, the dual wielder dudes need to be a lower chance. There's like six of them in that one room then. It's kind of crazy. What we got up here then? Got it? Okay. Ooh, mini boss. This could be saucy. Or not. <laughs> More ammo, hell yes. I realize we should be destroying the chests for potential drops. Ooh, we could take damage here. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. I had to swap to this. I was panicked. Very scary. This thing does kind of reload a bit slow. <laughs> it two shot him. <laughs> Executioner shells. Damn right. Damn right, an executioner. And away we go. <laughs> that was amazing. That was genuinely so good. <laughs> I wonder what will be the thing to catch us out here. What will be the thing that gets me killed? Okay, we, we have seen that before. We've got actual railgun. Okay, we've got some interesting ideas here. So this is really good. This makes you supremely accurate, which could be really nice. I think we go with this, you know. Because, like, it fires shots reasonably often that are going to kill in one hit. Like, we enter a room and just... It's not going to always hit, uh, like, but... Still pretty good going. Hello? Prove your diversion, lose HP. If this kills me, I am going to kill someone. But I'm going to try this anyways. Oh, we got a random weapon circling us, I'm going to guess. Be good if we could do it more than once. No, we can't. Okay, got a random weapon, weapon circling us. I don't know how good this weapon is going to be circling us. It seems to have a bouncy shot, whatever it is, which is always good. Oh, we we made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made it in time, but unfortunately, not really worth anything to us. Also, now we do have flight, which I think flight in itself is a pretty, pretty useful thing for us here. Wait, this one doesn't have a boy on it. I had to try it. I don't know why I thought it would work, but I had to try it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think we've unfortunately got a pretty bad gun to have orbiting us. But it's a gun nonetheless. Good. I killed that. Nice. I love that when you fire through these, the explosions going off. It's crazy. Really? That missed? Okay, 
Alright, let's use this thing for a bit. Almost got me there. Almost got me. We're just about okay, though. Hello? I don't think I want that. Not on this run. I'm not on this run of all runs. Oh my god. The explosion's going crazy. There you go. Oh, it's beautiful. Using this weapon is just such a treat. I, I realize that it's not meant to normally insta-kill things, but still. It's still really satisfying to use nonetheless. Like that, look at that. It just like one shot the entire row of enemies there. Brilliant. Okay. Where the hell's the exit here? We've been every which way around at the moment. Okay, nice. The mushrooms are nicely placed. Right, let's see if we can one shot this guy again. Yes! <laughs> I found the ultimate power. Right, I think we got this one in the bag at this point. Like, it's it's hard to say because a, a rogue shot could super easily find its way in. But at the same time, I'm feeling really good about this. But you never know. Cares of Flames. What on earth is this big beefy boy? Again, gotta try it. Whoa. Whoa, it's like Proptosis the gun. <laughs> it was right upside down. The effect was reversed. I like it. How useful will it be? We'll find out. Almost died to that. Almost died to that. Okay. Not going to be super useful for us because we have to get very close to enemies to hit them. But a fun, a fun weapon nonetheless. I think it can only be you, Snappy Blaster. It can only be you. Not quite sure what hit me there, but we'll uh, we'll take that one on the noggin, I guess. Anyways, it's been a fun excursion into uh, into the lovely little what's it called mode, um, theater mode. I think it's a really fun little challenge. It's stupid. It it, it makes a lot of guns. And items pointless, but it's just a bit of stupid fun, and I really, I, I, I like challenges like that. It's kind of, it's not, I mean, it kind of is a challenge, it's kind of not. Either way, I enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed too, and I'll see you guys in the next one.